Hey my little Frenchies, I'm Mervyn Gowry and you're watching What the French, the channel that will teach you how to speak French the right way. Uh, today we're going to talk about the three major French verbs which are être, avoir et faire, to have, to be, to do. These are the verbs you can use in most French sentences. So let's get right into the details of these three major French verbs right after this. Okay, so first, the verb to have, avoir, le verbe avoir. This is the auxiliary verb that is used in most French sentences and it can have different meanings and this is exactly what we're going to talk about today. This verb, the verb to have, avoir, is often used in uh, two cases like as an auxiliary verb um, in compound tenses and uh, some idiomatic expressions. A lot of expressions um, which could be translated in English with the verb to be are actually used with the verb to have in French. For example, when you say your age, your age it's like uh, I am 30. I am 30. But in French you say j'ai 30 ans. J'ai 30 ans. Another example would be <clears throat> to, to say I am cold. I am cold. J'ai froid. You would say j'ai uh, froid instead of je suis froid. All right, so to be to have is really tricky. So the more you go along with the lessons, the more you're gonna, you're gonna get comfortable and you're gonna learn how to spot those uh, tricky situations. Next big major French verb is the verb to be, le verbe être, être. And uh, it's used mainly in two situations for idiomatic expressions and in the past 10. The main case scenario where you will actually use the verb to be a lot would be as an auxiliary for a lot of French verbs. It is used to express a permanent or temporary situation. For example, if you're talking about someone handsome, you would say he is handsome, like il est beau. You would use the verb être, to be. A little trick would be when it's followed by the proposition a. For example, uh, être a. It expresses the possession. All right, possession. For example, this book is mine. Ce livre est à moi. See, ce livre est à moi. So, est to be followed by the proposition a. It, it these two combined expresses the possession. So this is one thing you have to learn to spot. That's why it's very important when you're learning uh, a new language or you have some basics but you forgot all about it. It's like to get back to reading. Okay, Read French, some uh, stories for kids or uh, some newspapers or anything you can find in French. Anything. And then you will learn how to spot them really, really quick. Next and uh, third major French verb is to do. All right, le verbe faire. Le verbe faire, vous allez le rencontrer très, très, très souvent. Alors faites bien attention, be very careful about this one. It mostly expresses like, uh, I mean, can be translated as to do or to make. Uh, for example, uh, to do the laundry. Faire la lessive. Faire la lessive. To do the laundry. But there is uh, one exception. For example, in English, uh, you make a decision. All right? But uh, in French, you don't make a decision. You literally take a decision. Prends une décision. So there you go, like three major French verbs. Once again, to be, to have, to do. And they are mostly, uh, to be, to have are used in uh, idiomatic expressions, all right? But 
they have uh, an additional uh, utility is to be used as an auxiliary for uh, most French verbs. All French verbs are built um, uh, using to be or to have. So be careful about this. And in uh, other videos where we're going to talk about the past tenses, like the compound, ten, uh, compound past tense or the imperfect, uh, this is exactly what it's going to be about. The right use of to be, to have. So to master these three was the goal of uh, this video, to help you uh, make progress and master the next videos coming where we're going to go into details with these two. And uh, to do, like the last one, uh, could be really tricky, uh, mostly for the part like uh, make a decision, take a decision. So, but basically it means to do. All right, so thank you very much again for uh, engaging, watching, and uh, all the little comments that I have. I love it, okay? So if you have any question, if I'm going too fast, or if you have any topic uh, you're struggling on, please leave a comment and it will be my pleasure to, sorry, just bump the mic, to answer you and uh, to help you make progress. If it's your first time, welcome and thank you for watching that video until this point. Uh, I hope you can binge watch uh, all the playlists that I create so it will help you get a glimpse of what I'm trying to do right here on this channel and uh, thank you for your support and uh, I'll see you in the next one.